G'day mate, how you going? What's going on there mate? We're going to make a video, is that alright? Just getting permission from the traditional landowner. Excuse me there, uh, Black Wallaby sir. <laughs> hey guys, Anthony, 4 before Touring Australia. We're out in Wombat State Forest again. Having a bit of explore around, okay? Some tracks we haven't been on before. Bit of excitement. There's plenty of tracks up here. It looks like a small place actually, Wombat State Forest. For those that don't know, that's in Victoria. It's probably about 60 to 70 k's west of Melbourne. So not far away. There's a whole lot of tracks in here that are easy. You know, let's say this one's pretty easy. Let's see what it's like so you know what my easy is. Because obviously track ratings, let's talk about track ratings a bit. You know, there's easy, there's medium, there's hard or difficult or there's very difficult or what do they go call it extreme so four levels if you like easy to me is pretty well look you know depends on the conditions right so we've got to say dry conditions and this is not a video about track ratings but i'm going to say pretty easy is something that you can drive without even thinking too much here well you don't have to think much but you've got to think a little bit right uh we'll call this medium there's a bit of steepness to it and if it was wet, it could quite easily become, uh, some, you know, not easy at all. It could be very difficult. So that's what I mean, how things change. So dry condition tracks, um, looks like a little shortcut up to the right there. Someone's made, I don't know what's going on up there. There could be some uh, deer or something being traveling through there. It was a bit of a track that looked, you know, not like a person track, but a narrow track quite well used. But uh, I haven't seen them. I'm sure there's a few deer up here, but I haven't seen them. Um, we're just cruising around checking out some tracks. Pretty easy, all the ones we've sound, sound fo far, sound fo far. The ones we've found so far, all pretty easy. Um, basically, there's a whole heap of tracks that are easy and you'll drive around like this all day. But you've got to be careful because you can go a long way down some tracks and then they're quite flat that's why they're easy you know this one right now it's not flat but it's pretty close to it there's rock in it you're not going to have any bog holes but everything usually goes up or downhill and at the bottom of the hill quite often you'll find a creek or a slop hole or something like that and of course that's where everybody's got to have a plane it so just be careful if you do come out here and you're exploring around on your own that's cool just bring a car don't come on your own here. make sure you've got your winch and it's reliable and working um, or even better you make sure you've got another vehicle or two they can have some fun as well and pull you out gently you know just go into things gently if you're not sure and you want to have some fun but um, we're basically going to be checking out some tracks and if there's anything exciting we'll let you know whether it's rated easium medium or hardium or extra hardium or what do they call it extreme extremely difficult double black diamond and there is some of those tracks as well and there's some that aren't named or marked that you can end up it's a one-way trip you start going down them there's no backing out there's no turning around so it's kind of a bit of a warning i suppose you know you need to know that you know these are the things that can happen and if you're going to go exploring go exploring in fair weather conditions not wet not rain lately not the middle of winter so if you've got blue sky the weather's been fine and it's looking like it's going to be fine that's probably your best time for the new people or the people that are a bit nervous don't be too nervous you just got to have a balance don't think you've been on two trips you know everything either because there's a lot more to learn okay don't think oh yeah i've been here i've been there i'll be right now there's a whole lot more to learn you get too confident and you could end up in trouble as well i'm not trying to scare you i'm just trying to bring some reality home don't want you to be scared sitting at home either. There's no point having a Prado or Hilux or anything else and sitting around waiting for something to happen. So this might not be very exciting so far, but maybe a bit of information for people that are new. This is the reality channel, mate. This is not uh, all for adventure or whatever where you go gung-ho and wreck your vehicle. It's get out, have some fun. We're going to show you some tracks that you can drive and have some fun and ways to do things without wrecking vehicles. We're going to include areas and tracks to avoid and of course some areas and tracks and locations where you can really have some fun if that's what you want to do it's all coming over the coming years bada bing subscribe now sit tight let's see what else we can find today and if there's not please give us a thumbs up for trying and i'll add on anything interesting we find to this video okay so you can add this into your track log 
Today we checked out Frenchman's, not eventful. We checked out, because uh, that sounded cool, didn't it? Frenchman's, because it makes you think of the cake. We also just checked out, what was the last one we just checked out? I'll tell you what it is. Give me one sec. Fransky. Fransky. You know, sounds eventful, doesn't it? And now we're going down Lynch Track. A little bit of mud here, but I'll let you know if there's anything exciting. That's right. We also went down Bobby Lane. And there was a tree down and there was a bit of a bypass. But it had a really deep creek, you know, where you rip your front and back of your car. And I don't mind going through a few of those things, right? So this is the 150 without the bull bar. We don't want to rip the bumper bar off. They've got a good approach angle on that still. But again, like I said, not here to wreck cars. So Bobby was a... What did I just say there, yeah, Bobby? The, was that the... Yeah, I think so. I'm trying to remember. Too many tracks now. But it's either good news or bad news, right? So if you're looking for tracks, you can watch this video and go... Don't bother going to that, don't bother going to that, don't bother going to that. Or if you're new, you can say, well, let's go to that one, let's go to that one, let's go to that one. Because Anthony went down and said they're not eventful, they're okay. So it just allows you to get out in the bush, enjoy the scenery, the serenity. How's the serenity, right? There's nobody out here today. It's awesome, right? That's how we roll. Love a bit of peace and quiet when I stop talking. But um, probably should watch where I'm driving as well. But anyway, we're going to keep cruising now. This one, what was it called? Whatever I said before, anyway. So that was Lynch Track, got through that one, not eventful, you know, could be a little bit slippery in the wet, there was some ruts and a few little sort of dried up bog holes, whatever, sorts of things I generally drive around. So we got to the end of Lynch, headed sort of south, south, east, whatever, turn right, and I think we're probably going to, I'm going to check out what these signs say, we've got a couple of orange signs here, I know this intersection, Lerdedurg Road, so we're going to turn left here, we just came off. Roach Road, turning left onto Lerdedurg Road, and I don't know where we're going next, but I'll let you know if there's any events happening so far. Easy. Wow, look at this. We've actually come across someone. A couple of cars. Here we go. So he came off Nolan Creek Road. That's on our right. And this is Nolan Creek Picnic Area. So, you know, if you uh, if you're sort of around Melbourne and you want to take a little drive you can have a family picnic and this is a two-wheel drive road in here coming in on Lerdedurg Road from Blackwood right you know reality channel you can actually do that you can drive carefully there is windy road okay windy roads oncoming vehicles please keep left right you're coming in off Lerdedurg Road so you head into Blackwood right and you need to follow your maps a bit. I can't give you spend you know hours, but you turn left. Once you get to Blackwood, you turn left. You follow it down. Find Lerdedurg Road. Follow Lerdedurg Road, and you're looking for what did I say it was called? Nolan Creek Picnic Area. And this is it. It's pretty cool, you know. You can't camp here. No, you're not camping. No, no camping here, right? Just going to show you the area a bit. Might have even shown you in another video another day. So watch all our other videos on the Touring Channel if you want to get real information for trips you can do or trips that you shouldn't do okay there's a nice gazebo there no one there today got a van parked here with an l plate on i don't know who that is you know where they are probably going for a nice walk we're heading out towards blackwood on lerdedurg road so this is the opposite of what you'd be coming in on i want to apologize for that squeak i've got at the moment i know what it is and we're going to sort that out Northern ridge track on the right we're sort of just about out of time we have got another fun track up our sleeve yet, so there could be some action before the end of the day, but no promises, okay? Alright, so we've just turned up. We're on Lerdedurg Road. We're going to turn right. This one, it hasn't got a name on the bottom of it, but it is part Otty, Otty Track, right? Otty. So, <clears throat> yes. Some people know Otty. Dry conditions, four-wheel drive, difficult. So they're rating this at uh, 
you know, easy, medium, difficult, so it's not crazy. But I can tell you, I've been going up, up and down here for probably 10 years or something like that since we found it, and it changes a lot, and it's getting a lot worse. And last time I was here, I said, I don't think we'll bother driving up and down that anymore. But I just decided that we'll take a look. I don't know if we're going up or not, and we could, but we could damage a tire, we could damage the underbody. We haven't got underbody protection. This is not a hard track strip vehicle. It's a touring vehicle. So I'm gonna have a look at it. I'll show you once we get up a bit closer. All right, so the bottom of Oddy track, there's the proper Oddy track and there's the other side part. This is the coming uphill from the bottom. This is the right side. Um, and there's a lot of people have been up here. It's been discovered and discovered again. And we may be reversing down, I'm not sure. Uh, what we're gonna it all depends how we handle it you know how it how it handles it from the start but it's gonna take a bit of concentration and you'll probably get me to go quiet for a while um, and it depends what I see up around the corner so it's quite steep here it's a lot more rutted than what it normally is I'm just gonna go down into the ruts because that's a good chance we're gonna end up there anyway so look we've got wheels spinning already you know what I mean Not even, we haven't even we haven't even got to the fun part yet right so there's a good chance I'm just going to go, you know what, I'm good reversal, you know, been there, done that. I may just pull the pin, but then again, maybe not, you never know. Depends what we see. And this will be one of the hardest tracks to reverse down if I go beyond this point here. So it's a commitment track. We haven't got heavy duty side steps. Alright, there's some decent rock steps up there, I don't know if you can see them in the corner of the picture. I reckon we can do it, but I don't know without scraping the underbody, so anyway, I might just uh, get out and show you the track, eh? We'll go for a walk up there. It's not going to show you any justice in the photo or video anyway, so you can call it I chickened out if you like. Um, look, you know, yeah, uh, maybe, oh, I reckon we can go up this, no problem. Just don't want to wreck my side steps. it's a possibility, you know, it's a possibility, so you know. No, we're not going to do it today. We'll save it for another day. This is what the 120 is for. It's got more underbody protection and heavy duty side steps. Stay tuned. I might show you this track or you may see it on our other videos. Just check it out. Wombat State Forest Otty Track. Double T I E. Don't be fooled. That's downhill behind me. This is where I've just parked up for a minute so we can uh, show you uphill. We're on a hill, that's why you can see it's on a lean. You can see the suspension stretching up a bit. And don't be fooled about tyres. That's where rocks hit the side of your tyre, right about there, at the thinnest point. So just because it's got all this chunky stuff here, don't think you're invincible because you're going to cop damage. See where all those marks are right there? All that rubbing right there, right? Right the side there, and that's where they're going to cop it, right? So don't be fooled. Now... The photo, the video, nothing is going to do this justice. It's steep, but it's not that steep. But there is a pinch that's really steep that I can't really show you. This is the easy bit. Obviously, it's a couple of minutes later. I just backed down. I drove up to, you know, about there somewhere. It goes around the corner and then back to the left and sort of up. We'll go take a walk up there. It's all easy down here. A lot of people turn around and park down there. Not many people park here. I just thought I'd... Uh, it's track's clear. Nobody's coming here today anyway, so... I'm going to go for a walk up the track, get some exercise, and I'll show you what it's like. This is actually just so steep. I've only come up, what, 50 metres from the car. The problem we got here is, this part of the track's fine. We drove over all this. This is nothing, but this used to be fairly flat. There was a rock trail of water down one side sort of thing. But people coming up in the wet. Coming up in the wet, you know, they've just dug all this out. And obviously, the fact that that's happening, that's probably what's done the damage further up, but... Nice quiet day other than those flies around. And there's a lot of diff and bash plate scraping action here. Not me. I didn't scrape. But see it? That there. That there. Tracks even up there. Like, you know. Yep, that's steep. So you come up there. This is about where we stopped about here. It is steep. But this part of the track starts, it's on an angle. You know, sideways to the hill. That's the problem you've got. A lot of people come around this corner, slip backwards, and end up with a wheel in the air like this. And if they take their foot off the brake and go backwards, there's a good chance 
she'll go over because we've got these holes there's a hole here on the right hand rear it can be very dangerous so if you watch this video and you want to come up here happy to organize a day where everybody that wants to have some fun comes up here but you really need to have a good look at it and understand the plan b's and things that go wrong because once you start rolling down a hill trust me it's steep enough it's not stopping i'm not parking i'm just beyond those trees there i'll be way down there somewhere it's cap a bit further right eh? and it's the gift that just keeps giving you know once you get past that dodgy corner you know this isn't bad but it's steep and you just got that camber so it's pretty safe there though you're locked in as long as you don't roll back too far to the wrong spot this is all right this is flattened out a bit actually so you know what we might be going to get the car move a couple of rocks out of the way so there's a chance yet go to the left of this one bit of a step up there bigger than you think and there's some more so we've got a step up here in the shade you can't see another one there a little bit more up there it's not too bad though but a lot of people have trouble on this track so don't think ah oh, that's easy i drive up that you probably might because you're good and you've got an awesome vehicle and awesome tires but you might not you could even lose your marbles looks like someone else has lost his marbles down here anyway if you get up that rock step which you probably will but a lot of loose front end rear then you come up here this is all right then you've got this next rock step that looks small to you but it's getting bigger two to three foot step up so your front tires up there your back's going to be scrabbling all this loose stuff at the bottom meanwhile your sill's hitting on this rock here because you're bouncing around and all that and then you get going from there and probably stay right yeah, it's doable. The rest of it's doable. You know, a couple of little issues here. Um, tire pressure, winches. You can see where everyone's walks up and down the side here. Right, there's a walking track on the side where everyone's doing the videos and stuff. So we're doing the wise video. We're doing the video where um, we don't drive on the track, right? But you can see this is where everyone walks. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Right? You walk up and down the side where it's nice and flat. You could almost build a track out of it. A few bikes come up and down here, right? Because it is the, you know, you can see it's the straighter line. It's a bit easier to walk sort of thing. Anyway, guys, I think that concludes today. I was just trying to help out with a bit of information. If you're looking for some tracks in Wombat State Forest, if you want some easy ones, we've included a few easy ones. If you want some fun, come and see Oddie Track. You'll find this. The, the disappointing part about it is when you drive up, and I've driven up many times, is it's only a short pinch. It's only really from that corner right there, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 or 70 metres, and I'm up at my other usual parking spot just up there where we come and get the footage and the videos of all the action, and there is usually action here, guys. So it's only a little bit of action. It is short and sweet. Sorry I couldn't show you the action today. Would have been hard to drive it and get any action on the video anyway. And I'm just about out of time for the day. So I'm out of here. Hopefully you learned something that was helpful. Or you at least enjoy the scenery and these flies. Please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. There'll be better videos coming. If you check out our channel, you can find a bit of action on some other videos. Check out Wombat State Forest and Oddie Track. And we've got some other tracks up our sleeve, which we are planning to do. Very soon, we're just waiting for one of the guys who's keen as, and he's waiting to get his sliders once they're on. Mate, we'll be coming up here and a whole lot more. You've got to have lost your marbles and have a few screws loose by the time you get down here. What sort of a screw is that? That's not off a motor vehicle. Who holds their car together with countersunk?